I am Faye Kelly, and I am the author of our career CareerWise Medical Coding Educational Program, and I am doing a live webinar this afternoon, so I want to thank you for stopping by. In case you missed part of it, I know some of you are busy. It is Friday, and um, it might be that you can't see everything right now. Um, you can come back because we're going to have this recorded and we're going to have it live um, on uh, on our Facebook page so that you can come back and reference it and look at it and maybe see if it can answer some of your questions. Today I want to talk about um, why choose career-wise. Um, when they asked me, you know, we've been doing live, this is only my second one, and the reason for that is um, the first one failed. I had uh, computer technical difficulties. So I had to figure out why I wasn't showing up as live. But I believe I am now. And um, I just, uh, I want to talk about our company, uh, me. I want to talk about our, our program more than our company. I want to expound to you exactly what our program is all about and maybe help you determine if our program is the right fit for you. There's, uh, you know, it's a new year, so happy new year. It's a new decade, so happy new decade. And a lot of you are where I was at one time, not sure what you want to do um, in your career as far as changing, starting out new, retiring, and looking to do something um, in retirement, uh, maybe a part-time job, might be something that you're looking for, but whatever it is, you've heard about medical coding, you're interested in it, and so I want to tell you about our course and just give you a, a brief um, presentation this afternoon talking to you and see if I can help. All right, so what I want you to know is that when we developed this course, it was developed for the student who has no medical knowledge, no medical background. So if you've been teaching, if you've been banking, if you've been uh, administrative secretary, if you've been secretary, whatever you've been doing in your career, and you're thinking, I have, I have no clue what medical terms mean. Well, this course was written with you in mind. And I think that's important because it's frightening. Medical terminology is kind of like a foreign language and, and I'm sure you've been exposed to medical terminology through hospital visits, through outpatient, through even your physician. Uh, speaking in a language, you know, break it down, talk to me English. Um, and that's, you know, our course is written for you. Each page in our course is so different. Um, so many courses are like read test, read test, right? Well, that is that is beyond boring to me. I don't learn that way. I need something to help me understand what I've just read, and I need something to help me remember what I've just read. Am I going to remember 100%? No, I'm afraid not. But repetitive repetition helps. And so let me tell you a little bit what I'm talking about there. When you start our course at the very beginning, you're, you know, we're talking about coding history. Um, then we're into medical terminology. Then we're into anatomy. Every page, every page from the beginning to the end, whether it's those basic courses, that core at the beginning, right on up through the very last coding page of the course. We have where you read and then you may either do an exercise or you may have a little test or you may have a game. And 
if you don't get it right, you go back and you retake. You just click on the retake button and you retake. It's as simple as that. So every page, as you're arrowing through, you'll read, then you'll have something to trigger your memory as well as your learning ability. And if you don't like it, if you couldn't, you know, like I'm just not getting this, then you retake the test. You, re, you redo the game exercise. If it's a crossword puzzle and you miss one and you're like, oh, I gotta, I, I'm going to get it right if you're like me. So you go back to the very, I mean, you just re, hit retake. You hit retake. The other part of our course, at the bottom of every page, is a place for you to connect to me or someone in student support. It's where you can ask a question. It's where you can say, I don't get this. I don't understand it. I don't know how you got to this answer. And so we'll come back. We'll respond in writing to you. If you still don't get it and you are really struggling, then I'm going to tell you to stop. Stop right there and let's talk. All right. This is part of the program that I absolutely love is the one-on-one -on -one that I personally give to every one of my students that needs me. All right. I have been on the phone as late as 10 o'clock at night. As a matter of fact, I was on the phone at 9.30 last night and again at 8 o'clock this morning. I just, I have to tell you that because I love what I do. And I wrote this course for you because if you are serious about a career change, then this course is for you because I'm going to, you're going to pick up the phone. If, if you're one of my students, you're going to have my phone number. If you don't, you'll get it shortly. You'll have my email and I'll have your information. And we will either contact each other over the phone or by email. And then if we communicate and you're like, oh, I just, I'm still struggling. I get it. I've been there. You know, this isn't something that you pick up and you learn it just like that. It's not, it, medical coding is not like that. I'm not going to tell you it is. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Is it extremely difficult? No, then nobody would really want to do it. So it's that in between. It's that in between. It's a career. All right. It's not just, it's not just a job. I've never looked at this as a job. It's a career, all right? And if you're going to be doing this, I want you to be the very best because beyond coding, there's a lot of um, opportunities that I talk about with my students. But don't let me get on that. I mean, I will get, I, I can talk about this forever and you don't have forever to listen to me. So um, let's back up and let's, let me tell you about what I love doing and anyone in student support will will give you this as well as myself because we are about you. So let's say you just don't get it and you don't understand why a certain procedure is coded a certain way. Then we're going to, I'm going to do, it's a, a Zoom meeting where we actually look at the course together. All right, I'm going to have your email and I'm going to invite you to this meeting and we're going to actually look at what your problem is. All right, then we're going to pull up guidelines. If it's a detailed procedure and I want you to understand the technique and why a certain approach character is used when you're coding a procedure, then I'm, I may very well pull up a YouTube, but I'll ask you first if you have a problem with, um, with graphics because I, I recommend YouTube. I love understanding what's going on, whether it's a diagnosis or a procedure. All right. So that's my nature. That's how I love to learn. That's what I pass on to my students. I do one-on-one. -on -one. I don't have set hours. Um, there may be a few hours over a a weekend that I might not can connect, but I don't have set hours because most of my students are, are working. Um, the guys and, and the gals, you know, people have jobs. So it's, it, it's those single parents that 
or those those parents period that come in and go I've got to get my kids down and you know it's going to be 8 30 9 o'clock okay then we do a meeting that late I want you to know so much that I'm there and I think that's important important and it's probably as important to me as it is because of how I learned this and how I always had somebody in my corner and I, I was blessed all right not everybody's that blessed but I was always blessed with somebody in my corner and at career wise that is why I love career wise because um, David Jensen and Andrea and I are, are both in your corner and they they can't encourage me enough um, that they love they love the student relationships that all of us have um, everyone on our team have so that we can it can be more one-on-one -on -one, all right so anyway that's a, that's a lot about our format as far as the course itself um, next let's talk about um, the um, the national exam once I've, I've got little notes here because I'm real bad about getting um, uh, on a tangent and just really talking about one thing and, and I'll, so I want to cover everything today about why choose career wise so bear you know bear with me if I have to go okay I, I just want to make sure I, I say to you what you need to hear the next thing you finished your course you've done all your basics you've done you know your terminology you've done your diagnosis coding you've done your procedural coding all right what are you ready for you're ready for the national exam in the database I have written over 500 questions and continue to add to these questions preparing you for the national exam Again, this is a test and you can retake it because I, I strongly urge that you retake it because you can't get all 150 questions. I think it's, it's either 125 or 150 that they've got set up depending on the course that you're taking, whether it's the inpatient or the, um, the physician-based. So we have physician-based and we have facility-based coding programs and depending on which one of those programs you were in will be the number of questions that you get you get the same number as you do on the actual national exam okay so you're only going to get a very small portion of the questions that are in the database so you just want to take that until you feel like you've looked at all 500 plus questions more than that you want to take it until you're comfortable with your passing grade and that you can sit for that national and the national should be very local it's usually Pearson units um, division buildings that are near you where these um, tests are held so it's usually um, I've never known it not to be in driving distance but um, that's something you would have to look up anyway you're gonna get ready for that national exam through our practice exams all right then you're going to sit for the national exam you're going to get your credential next we have what we call our virtual internship these are actual medical records that have been redacted in other words de-identified there is absolutely no PHI um, you know, we we have removed all the patient information all right so you're going to start on the virtual internship and this is this is kind of cool because I have had way I can't tell you how many students to say okay this is this is different and I'm like uh, well yeah that's why it's what it is and that's why it's valuable all right so we have um, I don't know how many hundreds of records in our virtual internship but what that is is that first day you're going to sit down and you're going to be given an introduction on um, what this is and how you enter the codes into the uh, coding software right there and you're going to read a chart so you're, you're finished with the instructions first chart is actually a chart like you would be given 
at the physician's office or at the facility or at um, oncology, dialysis, uh, orthopedics, wherever you're working, it's a chart like you're going to be given, okay? You're going to read that chart and you're going to code it. All right, so we don't have what we had in our course where we have, here's the guideline for this section. Make sure you pay attention to ABC. You don't have that. Here's where the rubber hits the road and it's time to move on. So you're coding and you're entering those um, codes and you're clicking submit and you're going, woohoo, I got 100% accuracy. Uh, oops, I got 60% accuracy. All right, so don't, that's not intimidating because again, the purpose of everything we do here at CareerWise is to make you, the student, successful in your career. And it starts at the beginning. When you enroll, you get a call from me. So from enrollment to the time you're in that job, we're here. So these tests, these lessons that you're doing all the way through, you can retake. So let's say that you're in this virtual internship and you're pushing along and your overall average is 70%. You're not ready to start looking for a job. The percent of accuracy needs to be 95%. And some say, why? Well, if you remember, if you go back into the actual course, Curriculum, that's industry, industry, let me talk, industry standard. All right, so it is industry standard, it's 95%. You don't want to go out there and be taking an employer's test that you're not ready for. And we're not going to put you out there ourselves. All right, so you want to get 95% accuracy. You want the number of hours in the virtual internship to be a minimum of 50. We like for you to shoot for 50 to 100 hours. All right, that's a wide span. That's a wide span of hours, but it may take you that to get to that 95. All right. So let's say you get to 95. You don't stop. Not until you've landed that job, all right? Because remember, I want you to remember that repetition. So you just keep practicing. And let's say that, oh my goodness, neoplasms um, are just giving you a fit. Well, you've still got the course available that you can go back to that section and reference it, make notes in your code book, Highlight whatever it takes, what, whatever your best study habit is. And you need to find that out at the very beginning. And we can talk about some ways that I feel like study habits help me as a coder. All right. So go back to that section, refresh it, and figure out what am I missing? Why am I not getting this right? And then it'll click. You know, I, I do have students who struggle with. Um, carcinomas and, and you know neoplasms they struggle with this section it's not the easiest in the code book for the diagnosis to code but I'm gonna tell you I promise you once you get it you got it and there again we can do a, a join.me meeting you can actually see my screen and I can show you because I have a, a code book uh, in my computer, I have a, I can show you exactly how to start from the index to the table to assigning that code to your patient's record. All right. So I can't stress enough. Do not ever, do not ever stall out. Do not struggle with, I can't get this. That's what we're here for. Okay, so you'll hear me say that to you probably more times than you want to hear, but it's just a fact. 
if you start if you start struggling and you start getting confused with um, guidelines and how to code things then you're setting yourself up for failure and there's no need I mean we need to go over it as soon as you see that I'm really not getting this day I need so I need some one-on-one -on -one. all right so we set it up all right so that uh, you know that's our virtual internship when you've reached that um, 95% accuracy rate and, and you've um, gotten at least 50 to 100 hours in then it's time that job hunting begins all right I am not going to sit here and guarantee you a job there is nobody that can do that but I can guarantee you that I will work with you we will work with you at CareerWise to help you find that job so the first thing we do after your virtual internship is you're going to send over your resume and we're going to help you build that to where it's pleasing and honest of course but formatted is what I meant by pleasing for your resume is formatted and says what it needs to say so that a coding manager will look at it and say all right let's uh, let's give her a hint her or him a, a test a um, pre-employment test all right at the same time that we're looking at your resume and, and you're updating your resume and, and let's say that's let's say that's finished and so now we're looking at the resources that we have for employment you're also looking because we're not going to do it all because it's going to take it's going to take us and it's going to take you to find that job all right so this could go either way and I do this no matter which side it's on if you find somewhere that you really want to work maybe it's local maybe you're maybe you don't you're not one that wants to work remote and you want to work in this hospital that's always been something you want to do but they won't give you the time of day all right I was um, an HIM director for 38 years that's at health information management back in the old days it was called medical reference director during that time I managed all my coding until the last few years before I knew I was going into consulting I hired all my coders and I understood their needs I understood what they had from wherever they came from as far as their education I hired those with experience and I hired those without so I have no problem picking up a phone and calling anyone in the HIM department that's a hiring manager and explaining who I am if they don't know and even giving them a little info about career wise and then talking about you and asking them to at least give you a test just a coding test because no matter where you go you're gonna to have to take a coding test so that's why when you're going through the course it's important that you're getting it that's why I'm telling you it's so important to me that you ask questions there is no stupid question so when you take that employment test you're good to go you you have proven to not only the manager but to yourself your quality the quality of a coder that you are and you're just right here at the beginning so we do that we uh, like I said we have our own resources but then we want you to find your resources too especially if it's that place that you've got in your mind that I want to work all right um, that is a, a lot kind of nutshelled up about our program you know we we learn in our program we do the national exam we do the, the hands-on the virtual internship and then we do 
the job, what I like to call career. I like to talk with my students. Um, some, you know, are in and out and I don't talk to them uh, other than that first phone call, that introduction. But my students a lot of time ask questions about other things other than coding, what you can do with this field. And as I've already alluded to, I've been in this field over 40 years um, and I've audited when I was an HRM director. In that time, um, I was consultant at a nursing home. I was um, teaching uh, coding students at all within my career. I uh, left my HIM directorship and went into auditing and now into training and still doing audits um, periodically for companies. And I still work for a couple of attorneys doing um, medical record reviews to validate claims and, and bills and all for them and their clients. What I want you to see here is it, if, if you're like, okay, I want to do coding, but I've read this, I've read that. Um, I've had friends that do this, this and this, and how do I get there? Then we want, we can talk about it. We can talk about it from the day, the very first phone call that you and I have. We can talk about it that very day that you get hired at your new job. Or we can talk about it six months after you're hired. Because the one thing about here is that when I give you my phone number, you have my phone number. And if it's six months down the road and you're like, all right, I want to do specialty coding. It's not another course you take. It's just something that you study. And then you sit for that exam to get those additional credentials for um, your specialty, such as in orthopedics um, is one example that comes to mind. So there, there, it, it's broad. Traveling. Do you want to travel? Do you want to, do you want to audit and then present your findings at a facility or an institution? I can go on and on and tell you that I, love making career paths with my students. I have two that I'm die hard on with, with their career paths right now. I mean, we are just, uh, these, th these ladies are just, they want so much and so, so fast, but yet they understand you have to start somewhere. And that's what I want you to understand. You have to start somewhere. So you have to get started. Um, I am available to talk to if you if you're even thinking about medical medical coding and um, you think well I'm not sure then I'd like to encourage you to call me um, I'm gonna give you the number the number to call is it's our career wise number and you're gonna ask for me if I don't answer it's 888-949-3225 you can also message me here on Facebook and you can email me. I'm going to give you my email. It's Faye, F-A-Y-E dot Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y at careerwise.com. And remember, spell wise, W-I-Z-E, not W-I-S-E. And those are the ways that you can reach out to me. Um, I hope that I've answered your questions. I feel like you're going to have a lot more. This is, you know, there's just no way I can answer all of them in this short period of time. But I want to thank you for, for joining me on this webinar presentation. And I, I want to ask you if you have any questions, if you want to decide if this field is for you, then um, I'm, I'm as close as an email, a phone call or a message. And, um, I do want to share this. I had someone um, that gave me this, and it's me. It describes me. It's, um, it's a quote by Zig Ziglar, and the quote says, you can get what you want out of life 
as long as you help other people to get what they want. And I guess that's my passion. That's my heart. When I was approached to write this curriculum, I was overwhelmed with a feeling of excitement and, oh my goodness, how do I do this? But you know, I got past that and then we built career wise and the working with the students. I, I mean, I love the other side where you work with businesses or maybe a college or an institution, um, facilities trying to um, build relationships or either continue to grow those that I already have. I love all that. But what I love more is the fact that I can take my 40 years experience and we put it into words so that any person can come into this course and learn it and have their own career. And I call it a career. You can call it a job, but it's a career because it's something that stands you out. You have to work hard for this and you've got to work hard to pass that national exam. And you've got to work hard in that virtual internship and you've got to prove yourself to that employer. And I want to help you do that. So thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing from you very soon.